In the coastal mountains of central California, biologists closely monitor an endangered icon. The California condor is one of the world's largest birds, with wingspans reaching 10 feet. The giant vultures once patrolled the skies from Mexico to Canada, but in the 20th century, they almost went extinct. It's still one of the most critically endangered species in the world. However, uh, we've been able to increase the population from just 22 birds in 1982 to now somewhere around 450. When we get them from captivity, they go here. Condors are now reproducing in the wild and expanding their range in California, Arizona, Utah, and Mexico. Biologists say the biggest threat is lead ammunition, which can poison the scavengers when they eat dead animals shot with lead bullets. Despite opposition from gun owners, California is banning lead ammo for hunting statewide to protect condors and other wildlife. That's purely made out of copper. The Ventana Wildlife Society gives away copper bullets to hunters and ranchers. We're already starting to see fewer lead deaths. Um, the condors are surviving longer. Uh, their blood lead levels are coming down. This year, the San Diego Zoo celebrated the birth of its 200th condor. Chicks live here for about a year as they prepare for life in the wild. That chick does not see a human. Everything is done through a hand puppet or parents raising a chick. And all through that process, that chick is reinforced that it is a condor and not a person. They're very interested in us. They're a very curious species. This condor sanctuary in Big Sur is one of several sites where captive bred birds are released. About 170 condors now live in California, scavenging, breeding, and raising chicks on their own. I hope that I'm out of a job soon because condors don't need to be managed in the future. I hope that they are self-sustaining and wild and free and nobody needs to trap or tag or monitor them. It's a hope that could become reality if California condors stay on their current flight path. Terry Che, Associated Press, Big Sur, California.